Hey my loves, today I'm sharing what I eat for breakfast in a week. I believe that when it comes to creating the life you were created for, how you start your mornings matter. So I've been on a mission to have breakfast every day to just make sure that I start my day in a way that is going to refuel my mind, my body and my spirit. So every morning I start with a glass of water, typically lemon or lime water. I make it the night before and I leave it in the fridge overnight night and then of course I have a cup of tea because I'm just a tea girl all the way I love my herbal teas I literally have a full drawer filled with teas most of them are from London because every time I go home I come fully stocked back to the US with a suitcase full of tea so today I'm having my well one of my favorites which is like a strawberry glow tea and it has olive vera um, biotin, um, cucumber. I just love it. And I always put honey in my tea. So I love starting my mornings with my lemon water and tea. For one, it settles my stomach, especially when I'm feeling bloated. It's my moment of calm, hydration, and it's a real mood elevator. So let's start with one of my faves. It's my strawberry dream breakfast smoothie. A lot of these recipes were me literally just trying new things out just buying fruit vegetables and seeing what works and this is one that has stuck and stood the test of time i use frozen mangoes strawberries and bananas i add almond milk and coconut water now what really makes this smoothie like a game changer for me is that it's just so filling because i use flax seeds and i also add oats and there's something about the oats it just gives it a little bit more oomph but what i also love is it doesn't dilute the flavor Flavor. It has a really nice creamy flavor. I also try to add ginger to all my smoothies because it's just so good for you. So this is my blend and my Vitamix. This was probably one of the best investments I could have made. Like it just does such a good job. I used to spend so much money buying smoothies from Arden's Garden. If you um, live in Atlanta, then you know about Arden's Garden. Um, but yeah, so now I can literally make smoothies just as good as Arden's Garden like this is just one of my faves and sometimes I will like put this smoothie in my to-go cup if I'm like running errands in the morning and literally I will come home full and it saves me from spending money Next is my green and my tea everyday smoothie. This is an everyday smoothie because it's packed with iron. And for me, as someone who is pretty iron deficient, I need all the greens that I can get. So it's packed with um, mango, spinach, I use cucumber, um, half a lime, and it gives it such a zesty, mm, it's just, but it's like, it's so refreshing too. And I add spring water. I add almond milk and I also add coconut water. Um, It's just like, this is definitely one of my favorite smoothies as well. It's very refreshing. And the reason why I call it like an everyday smoothie is because I feel as if like, it's the kind of smoothie that you could literally have every day and you will feel so much better. And you've probably noticed that I'm not necessarily that great when it comes to measurements. I am very much a keep on going until my spirit says stop. (laughs) So um, I'm sorry, I can't help you there. But the one thing I will say is that leftovers are pretty much good for up to two days max so um, you're gonna see with this movie i had some left over and i just had it the next morning with my breakfast and it was just the extra boost that i needed next we have my bright and beautiful breakfast bowl i have made so many variations of this bowl it's pretty much just anything i have in the fridge I will typically use like um, eggs turkey bacon or chicken sausages Um, I love to add like avocado tomatoes garlic salsa it really just all depends on what I have so what I like to do is I cut the sausages into four I just love like the way that it cooks it adds a little bit of extra crisp and it really like cooks inside and even though these sausages are like technically already 
cook you just have to heat them up there's something about having that like extra bit of crisp okay so i have a question do you take out the eye of your egg it's a little white thing that you can see me playing around with i come from a jamaican background and growing up that was literally taught to me that you have to take out the eye of the egg so that it doesn't taste raw and i have carried this with me all the days of my life i literally struggle to eat egg from anyone else because if they don't take out the eye it just doesn't taste the same and it could be psychological but literally i am all in at this point so i typically fry my eggs with avocado oil just a little bit and my eggs always come out perfectly so as you can see the sausages are crisping up and then from that point i just stir the cauliflower and cut up some vegetables you can use any vegetables that you love for your bowls but can we take a moment of appreciation for how perfect this avocado looks because you know avocados can really be unpredictable so in plating i have my eggs i have my chicken sausage which is Mm, just nice and crispy i add my um, mexican cauliflower mix like this has a really nice like you know like it has a little bit of spice it's very flavorful i am adding my um tomatoes i completely forgot to add my salsa um and then i add some avocado with some seasoning and this was just so filling and tasty so next we have my peanut and cacao oatmeal bowl this is another one of my faves all these recipes are my faves. I start off with my almond milk and I also add some coconut water because it just adds a little bit of sweetness, of natural sweetness. I sometimes add honey, but I was out. And then these are my favorite quick oats. They have flax seeds, chia seeds. They have all the seeds and it's just so filling. So I typically do add this. Um, I like my oatmeal to be on the thicker side. So you kind of just have to add as you go. So I'm plating the oats and then I'm with my banana. I like to chop my bananas up into small pieces, but sometimes I will slice them. But um, I mentioned in like one of my previous breakfast videos that like um, when you like slice up your bananas like really small, it like it gives you a taste of banana in every single bite. And that's just something that I enjoy. And then after that, I'm going to add some peanut butter. I get the um, creamy no so and I put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds just so it can melt a little bit because you know how peanut butter can kind of be a little bit hard. Um, so I just like drizzle that on and then I add my lovely cacao nibs. Cacao nibs have definitely grown on me over time and I think they really do complement like meals like this for breakfast i add some chia seeds and then we are good to go this meal is so filling it's tasty and it definitely gets me through to the afternoon so next we have my salmon breakfast castles this is a typical saturday morning breakfast treat where i like to kind of be a little bit more creative i am trying these cauliflower pancakes for the first time because i typically would use um hash browns um from trader joe's so i'm making my own little variation of a guacamole i'm just adding avocado tomatoes garlic i like my garlic in chunks and then it's a little bit of seasoning and um so the cauliflower pancakes are gonna be the base and then we're gonna add the like guacamole um and then i add some spinach because i'm always trying to get that extra bit of iron whenever i can but the thing about spinach it's so deceiving like look at that little transition um i'm adding some smoked atlantic salmon i used two pieces and as you can see now the cauliflower is out the oven nice and crispy so i start stacking my castle and the reason why i call them castles is because i think about like castles made out of sand and how they just come like crashing back down so like the thing about this meal is that once you put your knife and fork in it it's just going to come crashing down so um that's why i call them my salmon um breakfast castles and it's so tasty like 
just so so tasty um i love smoked salmon and like it isn't something um that like i have very often though so this is kind of like a really nice um weekend treat and to be fair it doesn't actually take a lot of time it is something that i could also have during the weekdays but i just find that i enjoy making things like this during um the weekends but this is the final product and it was just mm, delicious Speaking of delicious, this is my egg and turkey bacon muck muffin. This is such a simple three ingredient breakfast and I love that you can even make them in advance and just keep them in the fridge and then heat them up in the morning, especially if you don't work from home. You can just take them with you on your ride or if you tend to have busier mornings, I think this is a quick and easy breakfast and you can definitely switch it up. I am adding my Jamaican scotch bonnet pepper because it just adds Adds, uh, it just adds a little something that you just need so this is pretty much what i eat for breakfast in the week i hope i gave you all some breakfast inspo so you can get creative with your breakfast meals thank you for spending this time with me guys i'll see you in my next one